when I picked up this motorcycle, I already knew I was going to have to be replacing the shift lever and the shift shaft because it looked like this when I first got it. So now that I took a Dremel and a carbide rasp and ate through that weld, and I even had to dress the outside some, I can work on everything else. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to drain the primary fluid. And also while you're down here, go ahead and back your chain tensioner lock nut down. And then you're going to use a quarter inch Allen to drop the chain tensioner down as much as possible. That way you can remove the cover once we get everything else off. And if you follow your clutch cable up here, you're going to have rubber boot slide that up and off and then you want to collapse this as much as possible so that way we have as much slack as we need to remove all the pieces under the cover that connect your cable to the actual clutch assembly so i'm going to go ahead and get the foot peg assembly out of the way and remove the inspection cover be careful when you take this off there is a spring in this piece right here. My spring's actually broke. I've got a new one already. So now you need to get a flathead screwdriver of some sort and you're going to screw that in. Now we're going to rotate this out and around until that pops off. There's a flat spot on this for it to slide into. And then don't drop this down in there. Just slide it back and that will come off as well. Now that we have all of that free, we can go ahead and take off our standard Allens that hold the case on. And made up one of these sheets again to put them in. There is different lengths. Now you can remove this. Be mindful as there is Two alignment pins one over here and one over here don't lose them so now you can just rotate this out of the way so now that it's off we need to take this c-clip out of here We'll just slide right out, set that to the side. Now the nut is exposed for the clutch basket and over here on the magnet side for the stator. This is reverse threads, which means that you're going to have to go right to loosen it. And then this one will be normal lefty loosey. You're going to be using a 1 and 3 16 on this side and a 1 and an eighth on this side. These are extremely tight. When you take this off, this one's going to try to fight you because the magnet's holding it on. I found it easiest to slide that out a little bit and then slide this one out a little bit and then just get a hold of both of them. When you do that, there is a cupped washer in here make sure you don't lose it you can go ahead and pull it out like this and set it to the side if you need to Take this off and set it to the side. <clears throat> I found it easiest to remove this spring clip here with something that's got a squared edge like this wire brush. You can push it down and then work one side and then work the other and that'll just pop right off. 
if you can go ahead and set the transmission in third gear that'd be best because that's where it needs to be to align this later if not you are able to move it like this without the bike running or anything take that off and set to the side pull this back and that will just slide off there is another washer on the back don't lose that now we've got this assembly here start with taking your spring off and this is another one that is a snap ring There's a washer that's behind this. Same thing, don't lose it. Now we need to slide this spring off. Oh. Anyway, I found it. There it is. Uh, so there's my old one. Here's my new one. I don't know if there's a good way to do this or what. After wrestling with it for a while, I was able to get that to pop on. I'm just going to make sure it's all the way down. Now, washer. arm spring through and now the snap ring all right all that's together got my washer on the back side Slide all that back together. Now would be the time to adjust these if you would like. If you got a problem finding neutral, you're going to loosen both of these up. And after you put this on here, There it is. So after you get this all together to adjust for the amount of slack you need, which that should be like that, you're going to actually adjust with these two here. You're going to crack those loose, put them just until they touch but where you can still move the back plate and you're going to lift the pole up and you're going to be able to fit a number 32 drill bit in there so rotate it clockwise and then tighten these up to be able to get the proper distance between that shifter engagement arm there for the gears and the rest better hope you find neutral all right, now we're going to put it back together. There is teeth on the inside of both of these. Inside of here and on this side that have to be lined up. There we go. It helps if it's all the way on. And then 
that will pop in. And that will pop in. Make sure that you use red Loctite and check your owner's manual on torque spec. Mine is 70 to 80 foot pounds. There's 80.